So often people ask me, how do you develop quick hands? It's not so much of what to do, but how to do it. The number one thing you need to do is relax your wrist so that your hands can move and don't involve your arms. Because when you're using your arms, you're dealing with a lot of resistance against the wind. So picture a big flag. You're waving a very big flag in the wind. It's going to take you forever. But when you're waving a very small flag, it's going to be a lot quicker. So when you're waving a big flag, we're using your entire arm. When you're waving a small flag, we're using your hands only. So remember that game when you were little where everybody was going this way. I don't remember the name, but I used to play it too. So if you n notice you're using your hands, you're not using your arms to do that exercise. So that is the point. When you're looking for quickness on your hands, you got to bend the wrist and then start with your hand and follow with your arm, then follow with your hips and follow with the rest of the body. So hitting against the wall is a great way to create and develop a lot of racket head speed. So let's start with an exercise where we're basically going to hit it flat, but we're going to try and slow down your arms and speed up your hands. So we're going to try and just push through the ball and try to stay in the same place. Now, after we master that, we're going to try and add a little bit of topspin. Just coming from your hands, noting that, notice that my arms are not getting involved into the stroke. So ideally, we want to try and go low to high. Same thing on the back and low to high. And with two hands. Now, when you get good at that, we're going to try and mix the two up slowing down your arms and speeding up your hands. That's today's drill. Practice it and you're going to get your hands to move as quickly as possible.